Good morning, students. We came back again after few days. Today we will start grammar part again with lesson number three. The topic of the chapter is questions. Now, questions are also called as interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences, as we have already studied in the our previous class. So, what is interrogative sentences or questions? Sentences that ask something. It begins with capital letter and ends with question marks. This is the sign of question mark. This is called question sentences. To understand, we may have taken here examples. Now, these are the few sentences I have written. How are you? Here, first letter capital and last question mark. Number B. Where do you live? First letter capital and question mark. Number C. Is the school closed? First letter capital and with question mark. Now, these are the examples of question sentences. Now, what are the rules we have to follow for the chapter? Number one. When we use a question or when we frame a question sentence, we need these things. Question words. Number two. Auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are also called as helping verbs. Number C, subject and number D, main verb. Now students, I have already written here about the sentences. Now we have followed these rules. Question words, this is called question word. This is auxiliary verb and subject. Question word, auxiliary word, subject, main verb. Auxiliary verb, subject and the main verb. So students, to understand questions, we have to follow these rules. According to the rules, how do we frame questions? Sentences. Now first is, when we ask question, we need question words. Now what are question words? Example, what, where, who, whose, which, how. A 
auxiliary verb then subject and main verb this is auxiliary verb subject main verb first letter capital ends with question mark now this is the rule this is the rule how to frame question with the help of auxiliary verb now students according to rules here are some examples so questions are of two types one closed questions one is open questions now what are the closed questions these are the examples of closed question now according to rules what i we have already read what is your name now here what is question word is is auxiliary verb or helping verb your name is subject so students see when we are framing questions in examples you can see question word is there auxiliary verb is there subject is there here also how are you how is question word are is auxiliary verb or helping verb you is subject now each and every sentence is following the rules and the rules the rules where do you live this is again question word do auxiliary verb you subject love main verb now this is the pattern of closed question this answers are also very easy so according to the closed question we have to follow this rule question word auxiliary verb subject question word auxiliary verb subject question word auxiliary verb subject main verb now every time you will not get main verb now we are going to open questions now here open questions there are simple statements will be given now according to this statement we have to frame questions now see in each set sentence there is auxiliary verb number 1 mohan is reading a book is is auxiliary verb you will be my friend will is auxiliary verb the children were playing what is auxiliary verb now students you see in each sentence there are two verbs is reading will be were playing when in a sentence two verbs are there in that case we have to put auxiliary verb in first and at then we have to frame question how is mohan now here i have written mohan capital why because mohan is a name so when we are writing name that is proper noun we have to use capital letter is mohan reading a book and at last what we will put question mark now this is the pattern of framing question with using auxiliary verb now here as is an auxiliary verb or you can say helping verb mohan is subject and this is the main verb now here in the different sentences you will be my friend now how we will frame questions with auxiliary verb here also we will start with will see i have written w capital because we have to follow the rules according to the rules first letter will be capital u u is not a noun a proper proper noun so we have to use y in small letter will you be my friend and at last again question mark this is again 
auxiliary verb subject and the main verb number 3 the children were playing again in the sentence verb is auxiliary verb playing is also a verb so according to the rule i have told you when in a sentence when two verbs are there we have to use auxiliary verb or we have to put auxiliary verb in the beginning how you will frame sentence verb now here the the is article so we have to use it in a small letter t because we have already used w capital according to the rule it begins with capital letter were the children playing were the children playing and at last question mark again here auxiliary verb subject main verb so students when we have to frame questions with the sentence this is a pattern of open questions there are two types of questions one is closed one is open Hope you have understood this chapter. Now, students, let's revise the whole chapter. The today we have already studied lesson three questions. What are the rules? Now, what is questions? Sentences that ask questions to know about something is called questions. Question sentences are also called as interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences are also called as question sentences. Now, to follow question sentences, we have to follow some rules. Number one, question words. We need question words to have closed questions. Auxiliary verbs. In a question sentences, we need auxiliary verbs, and in that, it is also called as helping verbs. And auxiliary verbs, question framing sentences are also called open questions. In question framing sentences, we need subject and we also need main verb. So, students, hope you have understood the whole chapter.